Hello the soup's kid and I'm in Unity and I was making a boss battle in it but I I came across something odd straight away is that the rigid body is a little off sometimes like sometimes it does go through stuff like sometimes like I could just have a cube and it can randomly go through another well actually no I lied there that that's not right I mean sometimes if I have a custom mesh like Something that's custom like these missiles that isn't a cube or or isn't something that came with the program like one of these. It it will go through something else extremely easy easily. Especially if there's more of it and especially if you're programming it to follow you. Like as example, this I have like this little wait, I've got a little boss cube right there, right there as you can see, set up. And if I walk away far enough and jump, it'll spawn these missiles. Now these missiles um, are actually bouncing off each other, you can see that. And they haven't went for each other so far, which is good. Um, yeah, so this is actually... Oh, <laughs> went to the end of the world. This is actually because of my own, my own script called... Don't do through. That's kind of wrong. It was supposed to say don't go through, but oops, I named it wrong. But what it is is that there's a force that when it collides with something, it gets forced in the other direction by a certain amount. For example, let's turn it to 10 for missile 1. And when I come back here, it'll spawn a missile. And look, the missile one's up there already because it already touched something. Now it's going to come down here. And you're going to see it touch something and it's going to bounce off again. Look, there you go. It went off in the opposite direction and it got forced for 10. That's that's why I had a 0 0.1 because you want an extremely small amount of force. Like, let's see, 0 0.05 is probably way more accurate than 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 0 0.1 so oh so let's instead put 0 0.5 the reason I've done this is because um the it's just when you code your own animation that it follows you or something it just doesn't like doesn't exactly work with the collision detection or should I just say rigid body so yeah look these are all still still pushing their way towards me but yet they're kinda like oh <laughs> it's going up because it's a little too much and it, I might need to fix that aspect of it but still so so they're set to follow you and this script I've made is just to, like to try and like take away some coding because it can be a pain if you want to code some stuff like as in I have the boss code and this has it so that um let's look for it so these missiles um where is it yeah it'll look at me and it'll just follow me that's it and without the this script right here, if it fall, it will go right through me because like th it won't exactly go right through me, but the one behind it will push it through me. And sometimes at certain angles, it will go through me anyway. So I just added this so you can like, because in certain cases you don't exactly want to go through the whole sc your whole actual script and make it even longer. You just want to. You know, just type it like that instead of having to do it all manually. So, I'll show you how this works. So, all you really need is this. Just use a cube, for example. So, saying if you were using a missile, you wouldn't be using a box collider. It wouldn't even come with a box collider. You'd be adding mesh collider. You'd then tick convex because it won't work without that. You then go to physics, add rigid body. Now, if you're, you may, if you're using gravity, 
then my script might not work with it. Like, well, it'll work, but it's just best if you leave it to to normal rigid body than using my script modifier. But anyway, if you want to have animating and you want to actually have it fly, you don't want to use gravity and let's say if you don't want it to bounce off of stuff, you just do as much drag and angular drag as possible. And then all you have to do is then go to, well, let's say I'm not actually put, making the script downloadable, but I am putting the whole script in the description so you can just copy and paste it. So you just click new script, make a new script, you then double click on the script, which you should be right like this once you named it. N please name it, don't do through, just please, because it might actually not work if you're that type of person that just doesn't know how to actually code. So name it exactly, don't do through. Uh, it's loading. Well, it's taking a while to load. Uh, hello, load. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, really, this is all it is. And it's this game object, so so you don't have to constantly do all. So you don't have to do Missile 2 and you have to edit every single one of the scripts. You, it'll do it automatically for you, really. So all you do, once you double click on the script, you just copy all this from the description and paste it here. Don't, do not delete these things and this. And I'm going to make sure when I paste this into the description, I'm only going to include um, this. So it doesn't disturb your name. Actually, you don't need to name it Don't Do Through because it won't disturb your name if I, if I only put this into the description. So yeah, this, this, this is actually good as well. So you can like, yeah, I showed you how to modify it. So really that's it. I mean, it's a simple, a very, very basic collision detection. And you do need rigid body and you do need some sort of collider for it to work. But it's, it's, I just made it because you know, the one that comes with Unity isn't great when you add something like an animation to it or a follow, follow the player, but that's really it. Thank you so much for watching this episode if you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, you're awesome. Yeah. Anyway, bye.